Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And here's something you need to know about eating sushi. I knew uh, eating raw fish was a bad deal. They found a patient with life worms in their stomach. The growing popularity of sushi could fuel a rise in deadly parasitic worm infections, doctors have warned. And I agree with them on this one. I've always been aghast that people eat raw fish. Raw fish can carry tiny worms that can bury, uh, bury, bury into the human gut if eaten a condition as anastachiasis. Yikes. I probably butchered that, which can cause severe stomach pain, vomiting, and fever. However, in severe cases, it can cause an anaphylactic reaction with parasites triggering an erratic heartbeat and respiratory failure, which can be fatal. In other words, you could die from eating it. I wouldn't worry too much about that, but somehow the idea of having worms running around in my stomach doesn't appeal to me. Sip of coffee. Until recently... Cases in Western com countries were rare because most dietary fish is cooked, which kills the worms. But the rise of sushi has led to cases in hospitals across Europe. In the latest incident, a 13-year-old Portuguese man was left in agony for a week after eating slices of raw fish from a Japanese restaurant. Are they too cheap to cook this stuff? When doctors put an endoscope, a long tube with a camera down his throat, they found a rat mass of writhing white larva burrowing into his gut lining. After the worms were cleared out, using a special kind of retrieval knot, man symptoms quickly cleared up. Oh, talk about gross. This is uh, something else. Writing in BMJ case reports, Lisbon doctors who treated him warned clinicians to consider the condition in patients with pain, nausea, vomiting, and other complications such as bowel obstruction and bleeding who have recently eaten sushi. See, I've never eaten sushi because I just couldn't, if you'll forgive the pun, Stomach the idea. Dr. Joan Carmo, a gastroenterologist at the Hospital of EGAS Monas in Lisbon, said owing to changes in food habits, anasachiasis, I shouldn't even attempt that, is a growing disease in Western countries. Should be suspected in patients with a history of ind ingestion of raw or uncooked fish. Somehow this notion has gotten around that uh, it's safe to eat raw fish, but it's not safe to eat raw meat. It's not safe to eat either one. Uh, I have the same exact attitude towards red meat as I do fish. Cook it thoroughly. Patients have allergic symptoms. Gastrointestinal symptoms include abdominal pain, nausea and vomit, vomiting, and complications like digestive bleeding, bowel obstruction, perforation, and peritonitis can also arise. Now, if this doesn't ruin your appetite uh, for sushi, maybe nothing will. Most people believe sushi is nutritious, low-calorie meal, but previous research I suggested it could actually be bad for you. Yeah, you think? Sip of coffee. Once I revealed that people who regularly eat sushi could be at an increased risk for heart disease. Recent research that also found that eating a lot of sushi puts people in danger of exposure to dangerous level levels of mercury, which can cause heart disease, problems with the brain, nervous system development, and decreased cognitive performance. 
the sushi retail market alone is not worth about 20 million pounds in the UK. So there you have it. Unless you relish the idea of uh, having a bunch of disgusting worms crawling around in your insides, you better think twice before you ever touch sushi. I have to agree with the doctors on this. At least put it in the microwave and cook it. Don't eat it raw. I mean, a salad is one thing. That's plant-based. We all like salads. You don't cook a salad. That would be stupid. But cook your meat and fish. If you have to eat sushi, ask them to cook it for you. Put it in the microwave until it's cooked really well. That would be my advice. I eat some fish myself, but it's thoroughly cooked when I do eat it. I'm Artifacts Mars, thanks for watching.